Wolves in the Throne Room, Crypt of Ancestral Knowledge, EP Review. Let's chat about it. Hey, friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about this latest EP from Olympia, Washington-based black metal outfit, Wolves in the Throne Room. They've been at it for quite some time and for many years were basically the be-all, end-all of American black metal, one of the better bands to pop up from the American black metal scene. And with their early discography, it was not too hard to see why the these guys were just pumping out albums that were just all gravy, just exactly what I wanted to hear. Diadem of 12 Stars, Black Cascade, Two Hunters as well. These were albums that were just equally crushing and epic and in your face and well produced, but also simultaneously beautiful at times. And by the time Celestial Lineage came out, it was pretty clear to me that Wolves in the Throne Room were one of the bands to beat when it came to this style of black metal. They just seemed to be on a, just a different plane. Now, the last few years have been rough. I mean, a lot of people did not enjoy uh, the Celestite album, which showed the band completely, completely changing style overnight and going for an album of progressive electronics and synths, a la John Carpenter soundtracks, which is very different, but I actually like it. I thought it was a pretty big risk, and I thought that it paid off well as well. Now, after that, they took a little bit of a time off. Um, they came back with the Thrice Wolf album and at the time I, I did give it a good review I gave it like a decent seven uh, but I, I don't know if I was just desperate for some black metal that year uh, but th this album sucks I mean I've re-listened to it so many times the last year or so and the tinny production on that thing my goodness is it bad now the last time we heard from Wolves in the Throne Room was 2021's Primordial Arcana and my thoughts on the album have not changed. I thought this was a really great return to form. Not their best material, but this thing hit pretty hard, and they recorded it in the woods, because of course they did. Now, that leads me to this latest EP, The Crypt of Ancestral Knowledge, and Man, leading up to this thing, I thought that we were like really in line for some truly great material just because the singles were so good. And as it stands, I think this is the metal EP of the year. Beholden to Clan starts this EP off, and this thing does not waste a single second. And right off the bat, I think it's very, very clear that this is much darker than the material they've been putting out recently. It's hellish, it's twisted, and most importantly, it is epic as hell. This track takes off so quickly, and the next six minutes are just like the perfect soundtrack for, I, I, I don't know, just, just, just galloping through the woods in the middle of the night of a snowy night on a horse. There are absolutely crushing moments that just sound like the band is literally putting out some of their heavier stuff since, like, Celestial Lineage years ago. But at the same time, uh, there are moments where this track opens up into, like, a break, and it's absolutely stunning. The duality here is great. We also get some really great nods to just old-school, classic heavy metal with just these soaring guitar solos. It's nothing but impressive, and that's all before the final atmospheric minute where I actually got the chill. Twin Mouth Spring, uh, this to me, this is home for me. I've loved this track since it dropped as a single. The atmosphere is just so intense. I love how dark and harrowed it is. This is the most tortured that Wolves in the Throne Room have sounded in quite some time. But I continue to love the risks they're taking. I mean, the back and forth between just how pummeling and crushing these verses are, but then matched up against these really sweet acoustic riffs and elegant pianos. If anything, it takes this already immense atmosphere and make it pop even harder. And it's just so refreshing to see them branch out and experiment and try a new couple of things for the band without really getting rid of any of their aggression. Initiates of the White Heart is also so, so good. I mean, I should point out, I think what makes Wolves in the Throne Room pop so hard when they're on track is their ability to bring some human emotion and a serious amount of heart to the music of black metal. It's very tough to do, but it comes on this EP in spades. I mean, the sense of mystery on this track alone, I mean, just put this track on and just like gaze into this EP's artwork. And once again, my friends, this track is freaking dark. I'm shocked by how genuinely dark it is. I mean, the whispered vocals on this track, my God. 
It's a lot more pensive of a track. Uh, the atmosphere is very swirling. We're not getting these intense riffs as much on this track, but uh, be that as it may, uh, this track is just as heavy as anything else here. And the final two minutes are just so twisted and so tortured. Yeah, this, this EP absolutely rips. Um, it's easily going to be one of my favorite EPs of the year and maybe the best metal EP of the year uh, by far. Crown of Stone ends this EP off in a really interesting way. And I'm no dummy. People are going to either love this as a finale or absolutely hate it because here the band tones things down and go for a much heavier, much more atmospheric, dark ambient sound. It's full of demonic whispers and kaleidoscopic synths. It's very Celestite, but like Celestite with a lot more teeth. But there's also something really euphoric about this, like genuinely beautiful. Uh, for me, it wraps up the EP perfectly. Uh, this is a fantastic little work of black metal. It's got a lot of heart. Uh, they take a lot of risks, even though this thing's only four tracks and 21 minutes long. There's a lot going on here. And I just feel like the band is really getting back in their stride. I can't wait to hear their next album, because if it's anything like this, uh, they'll be really back on the map in a big way. I'm feeling a decent eight on this EP, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, Subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.